We begin with the investigation into this tragic disaster. It is widening and speeding up. More crew members now find themselves in custody. And for more, we turn to our Nayeon Young at the news center. Young Young. Daniel, 11 out of the 15 crew members that were on board the sunken ferry and are now either detained or arrested. Among those is the captain, Captain Lee Jun Suk, who's charged with five offenses, including negligence of duty and violating ship crew law. Now, the ship crew law mandates the crew to secure the safety of all passengers in emergency situations. The joint investigation team, composed of prosecutors and police officers, are also looking into charging some of the crew with homicide by omission. Now, that's when inaction of the defendant results in someone's death. And as we now know, none of the 15 crew members really tried to evacuate the passengers. They all survived, uh, and many of them have reportedly shown signs of regret, admitting to their mistakes and saying, in hindsight, they should have taken rescue measures. They should have indeed. And it's not just the crew members that are in prosecutor's sights. Uh, How's the investigation on the ferries operator, the Changhejin Marine Company, progressing so far? Well, the special prosecutorial investigative team raided some 10 offices and homes of the practical owner of the operator, Yu Byung On. Earlier today, prosecutors are closely looking into whether Yu and his two sons have evaded taxes or embezzled funds by making illegal foreign transactions. Yu's two sons are the biggest shareholders of the ferry operator's holding company, and the Yu family is said to own assets more than uh, worth more than 230 million dollars excluding debt and assets kept outside of the country the national tax service uh, yesterday also launched a special probe into four firms that are closely working with Chongyajin Marine Company dozens of personnel including you and the two sons are currently under a travel ban imposed by the prosecution and Hyung Young, we're also getting reports that investigators are planning on running a simulation to determine the cause of the sinking. That's right, but experts say it will take at least six months in order to find out the cause because the ship will have to be salvaged first. The Korea Research Institute of Ships and Ocean Engineering says basic data, including the vessel's floor plans, speed, seating charts, will have to be gathered before they build a model ship, and all of that will only be possible after the ship is recovered from the See Daniel. Thank you for that, Hyung Young. More truth being unveiled as time progresses. Now